Hello YouTube, welcome back to part 2. Now if you are a complete beginner, just hang in there with me, just follow step by step what I do. We're going to be building a list right here as you see, where we will be going into individual pages and then getting into the simpler steps. But this is the reason that the app is all in one. So no matter what, whenever you open up the application, you're going to be able to see and mess around with everything that you've done in this tutorial series. I also will be copying each part of this tutorial series and upload it to GitHub. So if you are stuck and you want to go back or check out my source code, I will leave a link in the description so you can go and download that. All right, first things first, we want you to see this. So we're going to make the font a little bit bigger. That looks good. Now we're going to go over to the portable app at the very top we're going to add a new folder call that classes and then we're also going to add new item forms xaml page and you can just rename that main page so in the app underneath the root page of your application this is where it is building that welcome to Xamarin forms and it is setting the main page to this content so we're going to just delete all of this and have main page equal main page that we just created actually new main page after that we're going to edit our XAML page we're just going to take out this label and we're actually going to add a title to our page by simply typing title and then main page. You can even add space in there. And now over here, click this little arrow that's next to the main page and open up the dot CS. Now we can actually drag this out and have them side by side which will help us out a lot usually whenever I'm setting up a project like this I will have my classes on one side and the XAML on the other just to keep everything neat so let's start building our list view now if you've never made a mobile application this will be pretty strange to you but it's pretty much the same way that Android has their XML but you know, iOS does it their own way so you're going to make list view and we're going to type x name now this is for Xamarin name equals we'll call it main list view and the quotation marks and we're actually going to end that caret next we're going to type in list view dot item template and then data template then view cell so we're creating the what is inside of the cell right here oh forgot to end that and now we're going to just simply create a stack layout with the orientation of vertical we're going to end that and now this is where we're going to start putting in the labels that we had. So from here we can create three labels. Label text. We'll just leave that blank for right now. Oh, actually that should have. I'm going to do slash caret. Another label. The blank text and another one alright just clean that space up so now this is pretty much done for the most part now we are going to go over here to our folder that we created classes and we're going to add a class 
Now let's just call this class list view template. All right, so now open it up, put it on our CS side. Now we're just going to change this class to a public class and we're going to create some getters and setters. We're going to make a public string name get set public string description get set and public int order number get set so this is all we have to type inside of our list view template and these are the three variables that we're actually going to be seeing on our list view next we're going to go into our main page xaml.cs up top and we're going to add inside of the main page we're going to make we're going to say main list view which the name is right here main list view dot items source equal new list and now we're going to use that template that we just made so list view template and make some curly braces. We're actually, go we're actually going to have to end this with a semicolon. So it's giving us this error right here because we need to save since it doesn't know that this is actually in the other file and this right here is actually in another namespace. So we're going to have to go up to here to using because we're going to be using a different namespace using Xamarin dot actually it would just be easier to hover over it using YouTube app dot classes it's that folder that we created alright everything checks out so now we're just going to create some variables new list view template So, as you remember, in the list view template, we have three different variables, name, description, and order number. So, we're just going to keep it easy. Name equals one, separated with a comma. Description equals one, separated with a comma. And order number equals one. Now, don't separate that with a comma. Separate this with a comma because we're going to be creating a new one. Now the list view template name equals two in quotation marks description equals two order number equals two don't add the the comma right there and just keep doing that and make four. Now as you can see in our list we have four different entries using our list view template. So go ahead and just save that. Now back over with our text. We're going to be using binding. So we're going to be typing in the curly braces we're going to be typing binding name because that's going to go first and name is our variable name over here so now, then we're going to go binding description and the curly brace and binding order number all right Go ahead, save this, and give it a run. 
All right, here is what we got going on right now. We actually forgot to add, stop running the project. In the list view, type has uneven rows equals true. Now I'll save that and give it another run. And there we go, now we have order number showing up as well. That's the end of this video. See you in the next one.